In September 2015, Larson and Tubro emerged as the finalist for a 800 million US dollar contract to supply 100 self-propelled howitzers to the Indian Army. The vehicle is the K9 Vajra T, a variant of the K9 Thunder, specially designed for operation in the desert areas bordering Pakistan. India has not had any new artillery pieces since the 1980s, and several rounds of modernization plans since 1999 had failed to select a gun. India has been at a distinct disadvantage against Pakistan and SPGs since the United States supplied them with 115 M109A5 self-propelled guns in 2009. The Indian private sector is set to manufacture its first ever self-propelled artillery gun, with Larson and Tubro ready to supply its K9 Vajra self-propelled howitzer to the Indian Army. A look at the system. The gun. The K9 Vajra is equipped with a 155mm caliber howitzer, mounted on a track chassis. The maximum range of the gun is 40 km, and it may vary with different types of ammunition it fires. The 155mm howitzer can fire 8 rounds per minute at enemy target. The K9 Vajra has the ability to fire its shells in MRSI mode, multiple rounds simultaneous impact. In the MRSI mode, the K9 Vajra is able to fire three shells in under 15 seconds, one shell every five seconds, each in different trajectories, so that all of the shells will arrive on their target, at the same time, with a devastating effect. Its purpose. India, has been lacking in self-propelled artillery systems, to counter both China and Pakistan. It is specially designed for Thar Desert environment, where the temperatures can reach up to 55 degrees Celsius. The K9 Vajra self-propelled howitzer is equipped with a 1,000 horsepower 8-cylinder engine, which gives it a speed of 67 km per hour, and an operational range of up to 480 km, making it a devastating force multiplier. It offers greater mobility, longer range, higher rate of fire, and increased battlefield survivability as it can quickly be brought into action, open fire, and come out of action. It is less likely to be engaged by counter-battery fire, by relying on shoot and scoot. The SBG fully protected from any chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threat. The Make in India component. The production of at least a hundred guns in India, would not only bring in jobs, and technical know-how but also be a test of the Make in India initiative. The challenge will be to showcase that India, can produce a world quality weapon system at lower costs. The X Factor. The victory for Larson and Tubro, to bag the rupees 4,500 crore contract, is specially sweet, as it won it under a global tender. This means that no special favor was given to Larson and Tubro, for being an Indian firm and international selection standards were followed. Here are some other videos you might like. Please like and share our videos, and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.